On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one, a blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. No, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the most high creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest every morning. I come here religiously and speak about the importance of preserving life not just the preservation of one's life but also the preservation of your own how many of us right now is somewhere mourning the loss of a family member whose life has been taken by another or whose life has been taken because they lived a certain type of lifestyle. Stop taking life for granted to the ones who are messing up their own lives and to the ones who are taking the lives of others. So this morning, my peeps, I have a story to share with you about a particular young man who lost his life to the hands of his rivals. This young man heals from uptown badness, as them call it. He a man said to be a man who had close ties to the infamous Christopher Linton, a.k.a. Dog Pa. So him lose film three pints in the wee hours of Friday morning. Yeah, man. So let me give another rundown for who is this young man here. Now on your screen is the man himself. Said to be known as Tigo Burton. Formerly a student of the Dunoon Technical High School. Now this youth here. Many people found it shocking that he lost his life because many was really close to him in such a way and he has never displayed that toxic character to them. So many are refuting the claims by on the spot news media and other news media outlets stating that he's a criminal element Old dirty corner boy, as I would say. Now this brother was really close to Dark Pa. And Dark Pa would have given him a certain task whilst he was still among the land of the living. So let me take on a back in time so I can understand how Tigo end up on the wrong side of the fence. Now when Dark Pa went to prison, he left two men in charge. Two criminal elements that goes by the name of Diggy and the next one known as Ricky Ten. Now Diggy and Ricky Ten did do all of the stepping, all of the knockings and clappings for Dark Pa. The extortion collection, all of that for Dark Pa whilst Dark Pa was behind bars. So all of that took place during the time span of 2013 onward. Now the one known as Ricky Ten end up lose film three pints sometime in 2015 by the hands of Jungle 12 man them. So them time they now Diggy decides say he need some other soldiers because Ricky Ten food end up getting yam. So Diggy had some little brothers and him start groom them. We are talking about the one known as Javian and the one known as Cassie. So him start groom them in the system, show them the do's and the don'ts and all what involves in that criminal empire. Now for those who don't know, you know, 
Dark Paw ran a successful criminal empire from extortions. Now, Javian and Cassie, as I stated, was groomed in the system. Javian was the man responsible for collecting extortion money from the bus and the taxis that plies the Papine and the Tavern route and the Dallas Castle route. And Cassie, the other brother, was responsible for the Hope River bed, where the truckman them normally come and draw sand and gravel and all these things. Now him responsible for collect from the truckman them. So whilst Cassie was in charge of that part of the business, Cassie start eat a food as what them say. Him start make a money, but him make use of his money. Him buy some car. But sadly, he buy some strap too. Yeah, man. Because I don't know a bad man thing. Them buy some strap for straighten the arsenal that they already had. Now, as I stated, he's responsible for that side I think that. But Cassie was also responsible for lock and transport. Dark pa strap them from point A to point B. So when Dark Pa come from prison, you know, he saw how Cassie was living, because Cassie did live pretty decent. And Dark Pa never liked that. As always, the man who say him are the man supposed to have lived the best, nobody around him, not supposed to have lived better than him. In a fee mind, everybody supposed to have run to him when they want certain things. But to how Cassie live and the levels where Cassie depend, it seems as if Dark Pa would have to go to Cassie, feed her food. So Dark Pa decides to know Cassie got to go. Yeah, man. So Cassie still a run off the extortion. And Dark Pa try to pencil in her mind now. How am I going to get out this brother here? But him can't just do it, Saracha. Because him fear the bigger brother we known as Diggy. So even though Dark pa a tap knackis and clappis. Him no say Diggy a danger zone just like himself. And if him name Cassie Food, the bigger brother Diggy, and him a go have a major jump off. And you know say man a go switch up and say Dark pa and some man a go switch up and say Diggy and him no want a split in the camp. Given the fact that him just jump out, so him need all the strength possible. So Dark pa kick back. And devise a plan. Now this is where Tigo come in at the mix. So Dark Pa is hellbent and getting rid of Cassie because him not like how Cassie live and him never feel too comfortable in the setting. But as I stated, him can just do it a certain way. So him start to use Cassie now and Tigo and another youth known as Brains. We go do some drive-by knockings and clappings for him and also we do some robbery out of road. So him do that with the hopes that Cassie would have get dirt from one of them operations there out of road whether by police, by licensed firearm holder or criminals like himself. No, that never work out. Every time the man them touch road, the man them commit the acts and come back in Every time them touch road, the thing just work like clockwork. So when Dark Pa did that plan right there, so never work. And with all the way you see a go on, him still did have a big war with Micah Allen. So for those who remember, Dark Pa did get charged along with Micah Allen. And the two of them did jump out basically at the same time. But they were not friends at all. They were at loggerheads with each other. So when them jump out now, the big war still the boat with Micah. And the war gets so hot and Diggy, the bigger brother, went to jail. So him start to use this now, or should I say that as a perfect opportunity after the big brother Diggy got jail. If he get out Cassie. So what Dark Pa did now was to call a peace meeting. And use Cassie's brother, the youth known as Javian, to bodyguard him. And then he left Cassie 
the youth known as Brains and Tigo on the hillside for lack after ends there. But the plan was for Niam Kasi food and broke the plate. So Tigo and Brains for Niam Kasi food. Yeah, man. And then they're going to make it look like, say, Micah saying bedward guard man for running upon them and slap with Kasi. So, what go on now, you know, is that Kasi, baby mother, was in the house and see everything where I go on. And when time the thing run off and Kasi end up lose him three pints, the baby mother start talk and start call name. So we don't know for sure if she really see or she just hear from somebody who see. But them two man the name start call. So with all of that now, Cassie had a brother known as Javain still did their own dog paw. I don't know how the bad man world worked that the way they know, but I've seen that once too many times. So dog paw and him start mash some works and all. And one day Javain go mash a work and dog paw for sin. A taxi for him. But for some reason the taxi man never turn up. And whilst him go mash the works and a combat now, police juke him down and find him with a strap. And him end up in a prison. Now the taxi man where did figure pick him up. Dark pa end up send man go near the cabin man food. Yeah man. And for those who know, and for those who need to know, and for those who never know, we are talking about the taxi man that goes by the name of Kwame. And right after that, the powers that be decide say, Dog Pa got to go because he did do way too much and he was getting out of hand. So during all of that, Diggy and Javain did their jail together. And send talk say, yo, Cassie, knockings and clappings, I forget the fin. So Diggy have another brother that goes by the name of Chuku. Chuku is a youth with the dip on the ground and go and run it off whilst them behind bars. But Brains and Tigo did accuse him of carrying news to his brothers in jail. So I saw them end up. Niam Chuku food too. So fast forward a little bit. Diggy come from jail and decides say it's time to avenge his brother's knockings and clappings. And because of that now, Brains catch him freed and take away himself. Him get jiggy and uncomfortable in the place. So him take away himself and run away go to one place known as Cascade of Portland and not knowing that him run go put him head in the lion's mouth because Cassie with them plan up and slap with baby mother comes from that area and she and Diggy run a program and Niam Brains food yeah man and Diggy same one go slap with Tigo Friday morning quick and fast and that is how Tigo end up lose fame three pints. So for those who never know and for those who needed to know, no no no. Yeah man. So anyway my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to on the spot news media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On the spot. News media. Yeah, man.